Hey everybody, Homeslice Hunter here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some very fun battles in the Open Master League featuring Focus Blast Thunderous Therian. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Shadow Accelerate, so many thanks for the battle submission. Thunderous Therian is an electric and flying type Pokemon with the moveset of Volt Switch, Legacy Wild Bolt Storm, and Focus Blast, and this trainer is Focus Blasting just about anything they can find. Dialgas, Palkias, even a Mewtwo as well. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and let's check out the team in the Open Master League. Amazing lead in the first match, Xerneas into Palkia. The Palkia staying in this matchup, so they must be completely core broken. The Palkia is actually running Dragon Tail as well. I've seen a couple people advocate for Dragon Tail on Palkia. Me personally, I definitely prefer the flexibility of Dragon Breath because it allows you just to time your charge attacks a lot better. Moonblast is going to be shielded up. Opponent, again, continuing to stay in this matchup, going for another Aqua Tail, but again, Xerneas does not have to respect this damage. Xerneas will look to overfarm, go for another Moonblast, and putting the opponent in a bit of an awkward spot. They've already shielded once, they are just going to fully sacrifice it, and in comes Dialga. Banking a close combat for later, choosing to send in the Giratina Origin, and this is not your standard Giratina Origin moveset. They're actually running double nuke moves on here with Shadow Ball and Dragon Pulse. Opponent shields up the Shadow Ball, and they send in Zygarde. Now, Zygarde typically doesn't have to fear anything, but Dragon Pulse is actually going to be hitting for super effective damage. Dragon Pulse is going to connect. Oh, that still does not do a lot of damage to the Zygarde. Zygarde is going to be able to get the full farm down. The Xerneas is very low, but I believe should be able to survive a Dragon Tail to make it to the Moonblast. And we are going to see the shield used by the Xerneas. Shielding up the Crunch, this Moonblast is necessary, as you just need the damage on this Zygarde. Ooh, going for an Undercharge on the Moonblast, and now looking for a Volt Switch farm down, but this is a triple resisted Volt Switch farm down. The Crunch is going to connect. Back in comes Dialga. Dialga immediately firing off its stored energy, but in doing so, they let a Volt Switch through. And now Thunderous Therian gonna try and make it to the Focus Blast and gets there. And this is gonna be good by Dialga Origin. Focus Blast connects. Get that Dialga out of here. Zygarde gets farmed down by a triple resisted Volt Switch. And that is a good game. Moving into the next match, picking up a lost lead, leading Xerneas into Shadow Mewtwo. Gonna throw one Geomancy, save switch into Giratina, and the opponent is gonna send in a Ho-Oh, so they are completely core broken by the Giratina origin. Giratina, now going to be firing off the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is gonna be no-shielded by the opponent. The opponent is farming up to 100 energy. Even if this is the Brave Bird, Giratina will be able to survive. The opponent goes for the Sacred Fire, hoping for the shield, but they are unsuccessful, and now they're going to be met with another Shadow Ball. We see actually an undercharge on the Shadow Ball. The opponent is going to commit the shield. They throw one more Incinerate, and now Giratina smelling blood in the water a little bit here, saying, you know what, I can actually flip switch. Giratina is going to get a massive farm down and exit with energy. And in the back, it's Lugia. And Lugia is not going to like the final Pokemon on this team. Shadow Ball not going to be shielded. In comes Thunderous Therian. Thunderous farming up. The opponent will go for the Sky Attack, but due to the electric subtyping, this is resisted. So Thunderous not going to be respecting that whatsoever. Thunderous looks like he's going to try and go for the full farm down and gets the full farm down, exiting with so much energy. Mewtwo will be met with the Wild Bolt Storm. This, of course, comes with a guaranteed attack drop. They commit the shield, and now, oh, oh no, he could go for the Wild Bolt Storm, but he said no, he's going for the Focus Blast. This is resisted damage. Is this going to be enough to KO? We're going to have to see. Resisted Focus Blast into the Shadow Mewtwo does pick up the KO. Thunderous Therian with no regard for human life, and he's able to take the win. A familiar lead returns in the next match, Xerneas versus Palkia. Opponent save switches into a Dialga, so they are just completely core broken by the Xerneas. Xerneas goes for the close combat, losing charge attack priority to the Dialga. But since the Xerneas hasn't lowered its defense yet, this is a very comfortable no shield for the Xerneas. The Xerneas doesn't have to shield and will be able to make multiple close combats versus the Dialga. Close combat number one does get shielded. I really like the overfarm here by the Xerneas. Xerneas, very close to two more close combats. 
This does not knock out, but it will get the opponent low. Opponent double shields, they're looking for the farm down, but the Xerneas refusing to get knocked out, able to make one final close combat. Close combat will connect. We now see the switch into the Thunderous. I honestly like this play. You prevent the opponent from farming down, you save the Xerneas for a catch later, and you can just shield the Draco, fully farm down, and you're in a very nice position where you're up energy and up a shield. The question will be, what do they have in the back? They have a Xerneas, and this is just game over. The opponent no longer has a win con in this match. It's unlikely they're even going to see the third here with the Kiratina as Wild Bolt plus the Bolt Switches are going to be enough to KO. It looks like the opponent has realized that there's just not a win con, so they just fully stop tapping. And the Thunderous will farm up to 100 energy and go for the Wild Bolt Storm. That is going to knock out. Back in comes the Palkia. They've started tapping again, but it's just not going to work out. It is just not going to work out. You're never getting through the Thunderous. The Focus Blast connects, nearly picking up the one-hit KO. Palkia getting Bolt Switch down, and that's game over. Slightly negative lead in the next match, leading Xerneas into Kyogre. Two better responses in the back, but may look to stay in here and look to get some chip damage before eventually switching out. It looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. Xerneas is going to stay in this matchup, Kyogre opting not to build up to a potential origin pulse, and a serve does not have to be shielded by Xerneas. Banking the energy, safe switching into the Giratina origin, opponent is going to respond with their Dialga. Dialga can very comfortably survive a Shadow Ball, but the Shadow Ball damage will definitely add up. The Shadow Ball does get shielded, the opponent looking to preserve health, and they actually throw their energy. I would have liked to see the opponent commit to a farm down here, because if they commit to a farm down, then they can exit with energy that they can use to threaten the Xerneas. Whereas now the Dialga has almost no energy, and it's about to get absolutely crushed by the energy from Zern. Zern, it looks like very close to the back-to-back -back close combat. Close combat number one, able to land and getting the Geomancy farm down. Back in comes the Kyogre. Kyogre will be met with the Moonblast, and then, if switch timers allow, a switch into Thunderous Therian. They're going to no shield. In comes the Thunderous. In the back, it's a Togekiss. Opponent hoping that Charm will help them win this game, but Thunderous Therian says not today. Wild Bolt Storm does get shielded and does, of course, come with the guaranteed attack drop, making it to another Wild Bolt Storm as well, and this should just be getting rid of the Togekiss. Wild Bolt Storm will pick up the KO. Back in comes Kyogre. Kyogre just running out of HP. That's a win, and that's a two shield flex as well. The Dragon leads return in the next match as Xerneas leads into Dialga. Very, very nice spot to be in considering the backline. Xerneas is going to look to go for the Moonblast, but before the Moonblast is able to be fired, we do see the Iron Head come through from the Dialga. Now, opting to go for the Moonblast, not wanting to debuff defense just yet. The Moonblast into Dialga does get no shielded by the opponent. Xerneas can farm up to another Moonblast and then go for the cheaper close combat. Either move is going to knock out, but this way you do get to save a bit of residual energy. Down goes Dialga. Opponent sends in Togekiss. We see a pivot into the Giratina. I almost would have loved to just let the Xerneas go there, and that way you could have put the Thunderous Therian on this. As unfortunately, the Giratina is going to be taking a lot of damage. Shadow Ball is going to be shielded up. They're going to be firing off the Ancient Power. Should be able to withstand the damage and still make it to the Shadow Ball after shielding the Ancient Power. But maybe not with the boost. Giratina still able to hang on and make it to the Shadow Ball, but not by much. Oh my goodness. The Shadow Ball will be shielded. There's now a boosted Togekiss to deal with. No health left on that Xerneas. So it's basically just all up to Thunderous. In comes Thunderous. These charms absolutely tearing through Thunderous. Thunderous is going to be committing the shield as they fire off another Ancient Power. Thunderous going for the Wild Bolt Storm. This hopefully should be enough to knock out. This is a boosted Togekiss. It is thankfully going to be enough to knock out, but it's a Giratina in the back. And unfortunately, with no energy available on the Xerneas, that's just not winnable. So they do resign the match. Another match, another Dragon lead Xerneas, this time into Palkia. The opponent save switches into their Zacian, and this is a bit uncomfortable. The opponent is going to throw after 8 quick attacks, which means they're probably going for the play rough. Play rough does some solid damage, but Xerneas will now be able to return fire with the Moonblast. Moonblast not going to be able to knock out either, but it will deal some very nice damage, actually getting the Moonblast attack drop. I believe that's only a 10% chance to happen. Going to send in the Giratina to absorb the debuff play rough, and then commit to the farm down. 
The Zacian might be able to make it to a wild charge, and they do just barely make it to the wild charge. It still is not going to be able to KO the opponent. Oh, they're actually running play rough in close combat. That's a pretty big surprise, to be honest. But speaking of surprises, this Palkia is not prepared for the Dragon Pulse. It connects, getting them extremely low, and the Giratina makes it to another charge attack. This Shadow Ball will be able to knock out. The opponent is going to let that through, and in the back, it is Landorus, and this... This definitely could get a bit difficult. Landorus does have the energy head start. This is their final Pokemon. So the good news is, is any debuffs from Wild Bolt Storm, the opponent is not going to be able to reset. Whereas the Xerneas, of course, has the ability to switch out. The Sandseer does get shielded, opting for a close combat bait to try and grab a shield from the opponent. The close combat does get the shield, farming up and now going for the minus one Moonblast. This Moonblast will definitely deal some decent damage. The opponent is going to let that through, and that should just be game over. And oh no, they let an entire Volt Switch through as well. We do see the shield. The opponent ends up baiting with the Sandseer Storm, but Thunderous can now just fire off the Wild Bolt Storms. We have the Battle of the Genies here with their signature moves. Wild Bolt Storm versus Sandseer Storm. Opponent goes for the Stone Edge. That does huge damage. And oh no, the Lander is surviving on 1 HP, but they get KO'd by the Geomancy. So thankfully, that's a win. Bit of an awkward lead in the next match here. Xerneas into Lugia. Now this matchup is a favorable matchup for the Xerneas on paper, but the bulk of Lugia really makes this matchup a bit difficult to deal with. And that's because, as we see once the Moonblast lands, two Moonblasts are not enough to KO. Lugia is massively bulky, and Aeroblast, if it connects, will not knock out, but it's gonna do so much damage. There's the Aeroblast right on cue, taking Xerneas deep into the red health. Xerneas returning fire with another Moonblast. This will not be enough to knock out. The opponent able to withstand that damage. And unfortunately, despite another Moonblast debuff, Xerneas is going to have to go down a shield here. Xerneas will probably look to farm up to the back-to-back -back close combats. And we actually see a switch out into the Giratina, barely not able to get the KO. The opponent chooses to send in a Shadow Mewtwo. So they don't have a really good response to a Giratina. The good news for the opponent, however, is they did have a shield advantage. So they're able to commit a shield, and now they can start firing off these Shadow Psy Strikes. Psy Strike, the Giratina should be able to hang on, but it's not surviving that Shadow Ball. Oh, goodness. In comes the Thunderous. And this, this is looking very difficult. We do see the shield here, as Mewtwo will fire off the Psy Strike. Thunderous is going to go for the Wild Bolt Storm, as this, of course, will be able to get a debuff. And then it potentially sets up a combo play. If the clock's up, the clock is up, but no catch attempt. Unfortunately there, this Psy Strike is debuffed, but it still almost KOs. It's Zacian in the back, and that's game over. Moving to the next match, leading Xerneas into Melmetal. This is a great lead for the Xerneas. Melmetal used to be honestly a top meta threat, but it has definitely suffered a pretty dramatic fall from grace. Xerneas is going to farm up and go for the close combat. Not waiting to let the Melmetal throw first does complicate things a little bit, but choosing to switch out into the Giratina, and the Giratina is going to be answered with a Charm Primarina. Primarina is going to be met with the Shadow Ball, and this is going to hit for some heavy neutral damage. The Shadow Ball into the Primarina does get shielded. Primarina continuing to farm. We do see Giratina make another Shadow Ball, unfortunately letting a charm through in the process. This Shadow Ball will get the Primarina low, but Primarina... Oh, they're going to need to throw, or they will get farmed down. One more Shadow Claw would have KO'd, so they're forced to throw energy. And this is very okay. You're more than happy to just let this go, and you can either farm down with the Xerneas or send in the Thunder Asteria. And choosing to send in the Xerneas, there is so much energy stored on this Melmetal. Melmetal is going to fire off the Rock Slide, and that just does nothing. Oh my goodness. Melmetal going for another Rock Slide, and Xerneas just does not care whatsoever. Xerneas continuing to farm. Opponent trying for a close combat catch onto a Dragonite, and that's going to cost them. As the Moonblast is thrown, oh, that does so much damage. Xerneas getting the farm down, and now this poor, poor Melmetal is about to get sent back to Season 3 by this Focus Blast. Thunderous Therian able to absorb the Rock Slide. Thunderous continuing to farm, trying to make it to the Focus Blast, and does get to the Focus Blast. And this is going to be all she wrote for the Melmetal. Focus Blast, massive overkill. 
And that is a good game. All in all, these were some very fun matches. And Focus Blast just kept landing, even against that Shadow Mewtwo. That's resistant damage. That was packing a serious amount of damage there. Oh my goodness. When it comes to competitive play in the Open Master League, I would say Thunder Asterion is definitely more of a pick for fun. Like, Wild Bolt Storm is a definite improvement for it, and Focus Blast does offer some very nice coverage, considering that it does have the flying subtyping. But I do think that realistically, stat product-wise, it's just going to struggle against a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, Electric Damage, while it can core break some teams... There's going to be some teams who are going to run into a lot of electric resistances, and that can make life a bit difficult. So, definitely well played to this trainer, being able to maneuver it into positions where it can be successful. Like, getting those shields down scenarios where it can land those focus blasts and absolutely crush just about anything that doesn't have a fighting type resistance. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.